Good evening everybody and welcome to Craft Stash Live. We've got another exciting launch for you today. Craft Stash just keep launching new product left, right and centre. And today it is another element to the Craft Stash and Co range. We've got the lovely Marta Dabichka. She's created, look at this, all of this. It's absolutely stunning. We're talking on the border and we're going to be talking to Marta in just a moment. Now, if you love this collection and you fancy winning some, we are going to give you a chance to win a little bit later. So we're going to be talking about that with Marta in a little while. But I think first thing we need to do is go and say hello to the lovely designer herself. So hello, Marta. Hi. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm really good. Thank you so very much. I'm super excited and I'm super happy. So this was my biggest dream and it's just happening. So I'm <laughs> I am absolutely fantastic. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. I really, really am. Um, so like you say, big dream, your own collection, your name, yes. your name's on the packaging. <laughs> I <laughs> um, I can see how giddy you are over it and that I mean that just makes me happy but where did you get look, look, first of all first of all how did you come to be designing for Craft Stash & Co how did that come about uh, well I think it all actually starts uh, from the craft world uh, I've joined the craft world around two years ago mm -hmm. and within one year I actually built such a lovely family of the uh, crafty friends and, and everyone supporting me over there and with sharing all my artwork I think I've been kind of in notice I have uh, start from winning a little like challenges become a crafter of the week have this my highlight of the of the video of the week and then I've become a crafter of the month and then uh, I was offered by a lovely boss from the craft stash. I, I received the email to ask me to join the design team, which I agreed. Yep. And then mm -hmm. within one year, I'm having my own product. So I'm super, super excited. And, and you know so what? I think a lot of that comes from the amount of work you put into your crafts <laughs> and your passion for it as well. We can clearly see how much you love paper crafting. You throw and yourself into every project. Um, I think we need to we need to see this collection, don't we? Do you have it there, don't you? Yes, I have it ready on my desk. Okay, so if you'd like to flip your camera over, we will, I will just talk people through some things here. So we have got, like I said, we're going to give you the opportunity to win one of these collections. Now, Craft Stash & Co is produced in-house at Craft Stash, and you may have seen those before. We've had Sasha Reed and we've had Ashley Thompson so far. So Marta is the third Craft Stash & Co designer. Now this is giving the wonderful, talented designers from all over the craft industry, whether you've heard of them before or not, giving them the chance to dip their toe into designing, see whether they like it or not, see whether you love the products, which I'm sure you will, and just to really gauge how how it does, because not everybody loves designing, but I think I get the impression Marta probably did love the process. So shall we have a look and see exactly what she did design? Uh, yes, I did so much fun uh, while designing them. Uh, for all those friends who know me from the craft world, you do know I love the papers and I've been designing some digital papers before, which, I, uh, which I'm sharing on the craft world. But this is the first time I actually designed the actual paper <laughs> uh, in just the physical form. So let me just start from the papers, which, uh, okay. uh, which I really, really love. I don't think I have. I'm missing actually one because I've already used it. Of course. Uh, but there is um, <laughs> six design in each pack. And what I'm having here, and this is a couple of the papers, wow. which uh, I love the design. I really, really enjoy designing the floral compositions uh, flowers is one of my favorite uh, elements to use in a card so I was just uh, designing uh, the paper so I knew there were going to be plenty of this uh, floral elements and I was trying to achieve this like a um, multi-layered look there's some scratches there's some like uh, extra sentiments in the background and there's lots of lots of layers so if you're going to be designing uh, your cards with the papers you don't really need to 
a lot to enhance them because they already have some some extra texture there's two different pads i forgot to start from it so i have this eight by eight paper and then i have this a4 size paper uh, which is slightly different they are still in the same style but it's just a little bit different i would say this one has got a little bit more like a, a vintage vibe there's yeah. a little bit more brown tones you've got some pages with the elements to cast wow. so there's plenty of flowers leaves uh, there is this like a, a more vintage uh, team color uh, like designs and you've got them in a pink and blue because this is the leading colors of the collection is just um, pastel tones i would say i love creating the uh, the this pastel tone um, paper so this is something i truly enjoy and if it comes for the rest of the products in the collection aside from the papers i do have two stamp set and wow. uh, one of the stamp set is just the sentiments which you can use for creating a lot of different various um, sentiments and you do have a mixture between the uh, handwritten font and those mm -hmm. like a little extra um uh, words in this like a uh, frames which yeah. will help you to create lots of various sentiments you can mix and match them i will show you that in a second uh, in some more like um, inspiration and the second stamp set i have this is the combination between the background stamp set mm -hmm. and some uh, individual flowers which are also matching with the one uh, made from the from the design paper and what is interesting with this set you also have the matching dice so oh. each of the six elements of this floral stamps they have the matching outline dice so that will really bring you lots of different possibilities of playing with them mm -hmm. wow. and here is the cherry on the top i would <laughs> say uh, uh, my uh, sets of the dice i've got two of them and this dice when i was uh, creating them this is actually taken on the board all the little frustration I have with uh, whenever I was crafting and I was missing something I was creating like a, a lovely decorative like a circle mm -hmm. but then I was thinking oh I really would like to have a shadow effect for it so uh, yeah. or same with the border I really would like to extend the pattern rather than be just close or something so whenever I was designing all my dice I was making sure that all this like a uh, obstacles from the past mm -hmm. i would just include it i love so that they will be so they will be so much versatile you will be able to mix and match and play with them same here i do have some pockets uh, dice which you can use for the uh, for adding some um, some like a gift card mm -hmm. or uh, or some wishes or for wedding invitation you can include some rsvp card there but there is a lot more because you also have this decorative border yeah. you have this decorative um, elements which will be fitting to your slimline card and mm -hmm. dl size card so the possibilities with this dice is actually endless it all comes Brilliant. down to your imagination i love that i absolutely love that marta and do you know what one thing that stands out to me is the fact that you've decided to go with what your frustrations were so things that you didn't have that you really wanted and now you've got them and hopefully that's the same for a lot of other crafters and they will see the benefit of particularly those die sets i mean they just look like like you say the possibilities are endless um let's take a look marta we've seen the product now so we know what you're using let's take a look at your first demonstration video and then we're going to come back and look at some of those beautiful cards that you've made as well my friends if you know me you do know well i love creating explosion boxes uh, so i could not start this presentation from showing you one of my uh, boxes but because we are very limited with the time i've decided to focus this video only on showing you the um, dressing up a stage uh, of me creating this explosion box i am focusing on showing you my design papers and all the other elements of the collection and if you would like to see full step-by-step -step tutorial on creating the base for the explosion box you can visit me on my youtube channel where i will have this video in a full version 
or you can also visit me on my expert page on the craft world where i will put down the article with this explosion box with all the measurements and template which you can save and use for future reference uh, for dressing up my uh, box i've decided to use some papers and i've used the flowery design on the outside portion and for the inside portion of the explosion box i am using this spotted uh, background paper this is not the dots this is actually the little flowers and there is so much going on on these papers if you look closely there is plenty of texture there's plenty of different elements mixed to the papers and uh, that if you are if you're a busy crafter if you don't have the time to enhance your papers uh, you can still use them plain and they're not going to be looking boring because it, there is a lot already uh, happening on the paper but uh, please feel free to experiment further down use your stencil use your inks uh, stamps uh, you can do whatever you like with the paper uh, but uh, my goal when i was designing them was something to be quick and easy and fun to use and will not necessarily require to have a hundred steps to add that extra interest and texture to the paper because it's already there now uh, one more thing i wish to say uh, because i am creating a lot of the explosion boxes i also love creating Creating the slimline and DL size cards I was making sure that the uh, pocket and the circle uh, die when I was designing them uh, they will fit those um, cards I am creating and for the pocket die you can see here uh, there's a little uh, three uh, flaps which once you glue them down they create this perfect pocket which will serve you uh, as a place to put your money to put your voucher gift card whatever it is if you would like to add this uh, little space for a gift or maybe RSVP card if you're creating some invitation that will be a perfect use for this die I also have this circular die which is also designed so it will fit a DL size card or the explosion box and all this die uh, dice in the sets they are multi-layered all the elements of the die are detachable you can create the uh, borderline uh, border uh, cut um, on its own you can use the lacy uh, extra element uh, it's up to yourself how you want to use those dice because i knew that if i will have a chance to design my collection i want to make sure that all elements are versatile you can mix and match you can easily create the shadow effect for your elements so for that all the dice coming apart like uh, there's no one border die but there's a couple elements you can use to create them so that will give you a lot more possibilities in your creations now uh, for my box i cut like one pocket on one side and then the circular die on the other side and then for uh, two remaining flaps i've decided to dress them with some the same paper uh, which i've used on the outside portion of the explosion box this is my technique of making everything look cohesive and matching together i'm always trying to bring a little bit of the paper i have from the outside into the inside portion and then the same way what i have on those four sides the this design paper with this little like a, a dotted pattern made from those tiny flowers i will use the piece of the same uh, pattern paper on the top of my lid for the explosion box and as you can see here uh, because all the dice come uh, in um, is they are separate you can easily do the shadow effect and what i did here with the white paper this will help you to make your uh, dye this lacy pattern even more standing out and one more thing i wish to say about the dice all the border dice are open-ended which means that they are not necessarily the four inches length you can extend them so if you need to use them uh, for the bigger card which is like five inches eight inches you can easily just cut it once 
then uh, attach the die in the continuation part and you can cut the strips as long as you wish because they are open ended on both ends so you can mix and match and do so many various things with them i've stamped the sentiment i'm using the uh, extra flowers which are coming on this a4 size paper pad there is a four pages filled with the flowers and leaves which you can cut and then there you will have something easy to go on for a quick creations uh, if you would like to dress up uh, your card you have the uh, flowery elements to uh, glue your compositions i am adding them with the help of the hot glue and couple to the uh, central piece then couple extra on the sides where i have this pocket and this uh, little circle with this uh, with this best wishes sentiment which i've stamped and uh, that's basically making uh, the box very easy and quick to do because all the elements are here and you just have to put it all together uh, so uh, this is gonna be the inside portion of my box and then i'm gonna be proceeding with the lid and as i've mentioned before i am using the same background uh, paper which i've used for the flaps on the inside of the box and then i will use the flowery design for this uh, little uh, narrow sides of the of the top uh, lid of my explosion box one more thing i want to tell you my friends if you are creating explosion box and you would like to dress up the lid always make sure you're gonna be dress it up with your papers before you will put it up together once you glue your lid together it will be much harder to uh, glue this uh, strips this rectangular pieces of the paper uh, straight so it's always easier to work on a flat surface and as you can see here i am not measuring anything i'm just putting down the piece of paper and mark myself some um uh, uh, some little dots with the pencil and for me this is the best technique because uh, i don't have to remember all the me measurements plus if i will create my base slightly teeny tiny bit uneven or something uh, with the pencil marks i am always having the the perfect result uh, for this little uh, rectangular I, it's just like eyeballing is the best technique for me uh, to use and uh, it's it's much quicker and also easier to to do and here you can see uh, the box just fit perfectly i'm putting the lid on and i will finish it by adding the same uh, couple extra flowers which I've used for the uh, for the centerpiece of the inside portion of my explosion box and if I'm adding them with the hot glue and I just wanted to add something extra so I am reaching for the couple of the stamps and I will be stamping them on this little extra tag which is included in the set uh, in the circular um, circle and border die set you have this little extra uh, tab which is just perfect as a gift tag or this final piece to add some extra sentiment to your card and it has this beautiful lacy design which is uh, the same throughout the dice so all the elements from the dice they mix and match perfectly so i'm stamping the for you sentiment and i'm gonna add the tag to the top lid of my explosion box so that will be my first inspiration i hope you enjoy it i hope uh, it already sparked some ideas in your head on what you can do with the papers what you can do with the the dice and all the other elements in the collection so here are a couple of the close-up look on the box and i will see you shortly on the second inspiration Uh, so here is this explosion box you just seen on the video and what I've created here I use this uh, pocket die 
over here so you can add some additional gift card and because uh, the explosion box is something I truly enjoy creating I was making sure that all these elements they will be fitting the standard uh, ah. size which is like uh, four inches so uh, all the elements are slightly smaller so they will go beautifully inside of your boxes and then I've used some uh, paper flowers and this little tag uh, so this is one of the creations Gorgeous. I really truly love to create uh, and that's why I was that's what I had in my mind when I was creating these ones okay and here is the second project I really really wanted I could not wait to not share it with you because this is another of my passion is creating those scrapbooking albums mm -hmm. and what I did I've created this uh, this uh, album based uh, with the cardboard and use some linen uh, linen it's fabric to, to cover that. I didn't put anything up front because I don't know if I'll be using that uh, album for a particular uh, you know, person, occasion, so I can dress it up later. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to show you uh, how beautiful you can use those paper and the dice in the album. Oh, so yes. I have this little pocket here which you can add for the gift card, for some like little card with the wishes. Mm -hmm. If you're gonna be giving it, uh, for example, for like a wedding or some, some other occasion. So I've used those uh, straight dice which you can extend, if I'll just show you. The die on its own, it has a little bit, oh, I've got some pink paper on it. <laughs> you forgive uh, it. It's, it has the five, uh, uh, like uh, five lacy parts, and then because the die doesn't cut through mm -hmm. all the way down, you can easily just place it and ah, exchange clever. it, uh, extend it, sorry, not <laughs> exchange, extend it. So I use that to create in the pocket. I also have those uh, extra additional pocket on each page. And then I've got some like clear acetate oh, uh, holding, uh, another pocket on the on the top. I've also used this uh, wavy die which I have here, so oh, to yes. create uh, those little like flaps to the side when you can stick oh. your photos. And then another one on the top. And I really like this little extra element because it's just uh, matching perfectly as a top or a little gift tag. And then I've used another wavy line. It's just a different arrangement. You can mix and match those uh, wavy lines, so that will help you to create all sorts of the arrangement ah. on your card. I've decided to follow the line with the design paper, and I have those little extra flaps, and then the back side. And uh, one more thing I can say, I will have the video with the album creation on my YouTube channel, which actually coming tomorrow. Uh, we're going to be playing with different collections I've designed for Simply Garden Paperback Magazine, but I will be playing with this dice, so if you're curious to see how did I create the album, I will walk you through over there. And I where can we have... find you? Sorry, where can we find you on YouTube? It's under my own name, Marta Debitska. If anyone is curious, I will probably link the uh, link it somewhere over there in a yeah. conversation so i will add that on Lovely. i also have a couple extra cards which i wanted to share with you yes, please. because every single one of them is different and i wanted to show you the examples you can use with the papers with the collection uh, which is so... really really elegant but i was gonna also... say i was gonna say so elegant and so pretty perfect for weddings because of course yes. it's that time of year now uh, the wedding, the baby cards, it's yep. one of my most, uh, I would say, use uh, type of the cards I'm creating. So whenever I'm I'm designing something, I always think like, oh, so many, um, you know, occasions, uh, the most common occasion I can use them for. So I've tried for the collection to be elegant, but you can also create a different type of the projects. I have one here, and this is more like a modern look. <laughs> I love that. Very... Uh, I would say a perfect card for someone who's like teenage uh, yeah. years or something. And what I add additionally, this is the uh, hexagonal die, which is from the Creative Craft mm -hmm. product, one of their basic die. And then again, I have took this uh, stray uh, little like a lacy uh, die and I've created a couple of the borders which I attach from the, from the behind. Right. And yeah. then I create the same little strip over here with the... Uh, with the lacy pattern mm -hmm. and I used a little teeny tiny tag uh, to create uh, several uh, tabs 
And I firstly, what I did here actually, I firstly used some distress oxide, uh, distress inks to color a piece of a paper yeah. doing this rainbow color order. And then I just uh, used the little uh, ah. dye to cut them individually. And kept and them in that rainbow. Instead of yeah. the coloring a uh, flower, I decided it will be looking great if it's, because there's so many colors behind, I just decided to keep it like Definitely. black and white, which I think is just adding to that extra modern vibe yeah, of the card. Yeah, it is. Uh, here I'm having another one which I was trying to kind of achieve more uh, masculine look. So yeah. uh, what I did here, I used this uh, dye in a circle, but you can easily take the dye on its own uh, just like that. So it will only make you the incision inside. So this, ah, will, uh, I like that. this won't cut through the, uh, through the shape, but it will only just give you those little like a... Uh, lacy power all That's around. Clever. I use my stamp, and then there is this lacy uh, background uh, stamp set, which is matching uh, with the dye. And then for a focal point, I use the flower, which I emboss with the gold on the navy color cardstock. So, uh, as you can see, with changing just a simple changing of the colors, you can achieve a totally different look and and just vibe from the card. I have another one which is. Um, very elegant which is back with the uh, gold paper and what i love with these dies which i will show you they all come separately like each of the dies come ah. separately so you could easily create this uh, shadow effortless that. just a just a shadow effect with another paper which i really like when it's looking with the gold paper definitely uh, I'm having another card which is absolutely different vibe going from the paper and then again I've stamped the flowers with the black uh, uh, Versafine Onyx black ink and then I used the uh, Distress ink to color it mm -hmm. and I did the same color with the with the stamped back. I love that card. That's my favorite. Um, <laughs> oh, thank you. I like it too. I really like the color of the card and then I was uh, again creating another card with the collection and I back it up with some pink color paper. So as you can see, uh, with the flower uh, stamp set, you can create all sorts of the flowers. This one, they are embossed in silver, but they absolutely flat. And here I did the golden embossing and oh, coloring, yes. but I've shaped them. And every time you're gonna be doing them in different technique, you will be getting a different result. Stunning. Uh, so I have another card which is also using the the stamp set. Mm -hmm. And what I did here, I will just quickly show you. There is a word thankful, but if you mask the full of, out of the stamp, you yep. will be able to create the thank you oh, thank you course. note as well. And then I uh, stamp and emboss this uh, background uh, stamp. And then uh, another card I want to show you. This is a, a creative example of using just the insert portion mm -hmm. die and uh, so what i did i cut the piece of the cardstock and i only use this inside portion to actually uh, create the pattern so that's really once clever you, once you're gonna be uh, and you've got two of them actually so once you're gonna be placing them oh i didn't clean them uh, but <laughs> once you're gonna be uh, creating like put them in different combination you'll be able to uh, to do different type of the yeah. uh, wavy lines and you can also use the straight one edge to to do exactly the same and create yourself a straight line pattern. Oh, that's clever. That's so, really clever. So uh, that's it. And, Beautiful. Oh, I've got more. I've got more. Oh, <laughs> not, not many, oh. but uh, I just want to show you. I love that. Uh, here is the uh, straight edge, which I actually do some um, uh, some ribbon. I thread it through. So this is a three millimeter ribbon, which I uh, which I wave through the line. So this is something which you can also create, and you can create all sorts of the gate folding card, and then you can have this like a little ribbon to close them to thread yeah. it through. Clever. And even with the uh, little like cuttings off, I had this uh, little piece of the cardstock which was left over from the me creating the album, and mm -hmm. I just very very easily turn it to the card. Uh, I've created uh, a little extra element and this uh, this border I use additional because this is what cuts you with this 
Uh, I don't know if you can see this like uh, a yeah, texture, can, yeah. texture edge. And then I use just a regular circular die, which I had from the Creative Craft product. And that way I've created myself a little frame. It's lovely. That kind it. of, so, to me, that looks like a wedding fascinator. Uh, it probably, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, as, as I'm saying, it's entirely up to you. What yeah. would you like to do with the collection? Uh, whether you want to use the papers or just the dice, there will be like endless combination and because each single element of the of those dies like the way i've designed them they are uh, changeable you can mix and match and create all sorts of the different uh, different looks and different vibration and different uh, style so uh, even if you're if you're not into those like a pastel color tone you prefer more like you know uh, more brave, co bright colors, uh, you'll be still able to do that because th this is uh, entirely up to you what you would like with this collection. But uh, as I'm saying, the way I've designed it, I've tried to aim to be as much versatile as it can be. Absolutely. So I, hope, I hope I've managed to, to achieve that. Definitely. And do you know what? Your style comes through. It really, really does. Um, can you just give us a hint as to what we are going to see in this next demo video? In the next demonstration, because I was creating this very like a pastel tone look, I've decided to go with a little bit of uh, vintage vibe and I've created the card which I've used the uh, different paper and I set them aside the craft uh, color cardstock. So uh, it's still uh, same, same papers but Yep. By changing the papers, you, uh, the basic paper instead of the white to the craft, you're getting totally different, different look on the card. Perfect. Well, we'll go and have a look at that now, and then we'll come back to you in a moment. Uh, hello back everyone uh, this is gonna be my second inspiration but before i will jump into the card i just wanted to quickly uh, go through the paper one more time to give you a chance to have a look on these designs everything you see here i hand drawn the uh, flower design and the leaf so i hope you will enjoy it i hope you will enjoy this uh, various combination of the papers some of them they are very delicate past tone and the other one are a little bit more vintage look they do have a little bit mixture with the brown color tones uh, so for that you will be able to create all sorts of the uh, different uh, very elegant very um, sophisticated look but also uh, more vintage more mixed media vibe even for some like a, a masculine type of the card there's so many different possibilities to do with the papers because my first card with the explosion box it was actually very bright pastel a white color tone for this one i've decided to mix my paper with the craft color cardstock just so i will be able to show you that there's so many uh, different things you can do with these papers and whether you decide to keep them very elegant look or uh, if you decide to go with the vintage vibe these papers will be working perfectly so what i'm having here i use uh, this uh, little uh, inside portion of the pocket die uh, each pocket because you have two different sizes one is designated for the slimline card and the other one is dl size uh, uh, whiteness uh, they both have couple of the inside portion extra elements to uh, dress your pockets and one of them uh, for each pocket has this beautiful uh, extra finish on the edges which will be looking perfectly especially if you cut it from the gold or silver color cardstock uh, that will be just beautifully embossed design here i just use it on the craft color and what i'm gonna do i want to create this wavy uh, shape color panel and for that i just needed two of them uh, before i will adhere my elements i have to create myself this focal point and i'm gonna be using the same circular die which i did um, 
on my explosion box but this time i've also cut it from the craft color cardstock instead of the white and i'm gonna be having the white frame for a change and um, once i will have my elements uh, all together i will be able to then decide what the uh, length i need for my panels to be so they will be sticking out nicely uh, from the um, from underneath the circle and once i had them uh, put on my card just like that i've decided i have too much of this brown color tone and i've decided to uh, bring a little bit more bright pastel color and for that i'm reaching for one of the a design paper from the 8x8 paper and I'm using this smaller uh, die from this pocket range and also the circle uh, to cut couple extra elements and I've decided to have this uh, design paper in my circle because this way I will already have a little extra interest added to my focal point and this um, pink color a uh, pocket like this inside uh, portion uh, the smaller nesting die will just fill up uh, a little bit of this craft color uh, cardstock and this way it will be just a little bit brighter the card it's not gonna be as dark uh, but uh, this is entirely up to you uh, all the dies are coming like separately so you can mix and match and create those multi-layered effect and here i am adding a dash of the glue to the frame so i could glue it in on top of this brown color cardstock and this way uh, you will see this lovely lacy design uh, coming out even more visible uh, because we have this dark uh, paper underneath and now i've decided i need some sentiment and of course i am reaching for the stamp set uh, but rather to have the mixture of the big and small dice I've decided that for this card, I'm going to be using the happy birthday as sentiments, which uh, are both in the small um, uh, font uh, with this lovely uh, frame around, which uh, I really, really wanted. This is something I really like. Uh, and especially if you're a little bit mixed media uh, creator like i am uh, this is something i love adding to the uh, journal pages so i knew that if i will have my own sentiments i want to have a set which will have this lovely framing uh, which is something uh, i knew i will enjoy and i hope you will enjoy it as well so um i once i have all my elements ready i am proceeding to put my card uh, all together i am starting from adhering the front panel to my card and for that my forever favorite technique to combine the uh, double-sided tape with the uh, drop of the liquid glue and once i have my card positioned like perfectly you can see here because i didn't reveal all my strips i can still wiggle a little bit and once i have it placed in a perfect Place, then I am gently pressing down and revealing that extra strips so everything is on here 100% straight and even every single time. Now I am uh, adding this little design uh, piece of the paper uh, into the circle uh, which I've cut before and then I will uh, add it on top of my frame but firstly I need to and glue all these uh, all these uh, back pieces together and that's why i wanted to cut the circle in the first place so i knew how much uh, i need to leave the space so it will be just nicely positioned all together i've secured them from the back with the help of the uh, masking tape and then i use a liquid glue to join these two together and once it's ready then I am adding some extra dimension and for simple cards I like that it's always a good to play a little bit with dimension use some double-sided foam tape which will help you to raise your elements teeny tiny bit the card is still flat it will still go nicely through the post but you have that extra interest uh, in the form of dimension 
so i'm adding the foam tape to all of the elements to this uh, back piece to the circle uh, to this uh, um, circular frame and this little inside portion with the sentiment and of course uh, with the double-sided tape is always a good idea to add a drop of the liquid glue on top because first and foremost you will have this little extra uh, wiggle uh, space so you could like make sure you you adjust I just it in the right space and then secondly if the foam tape would ever dry uh, the liquid glue will just stick it together forever now i'm finishing off using the same uh, flowers uh, which are coming from the a4 size set but this time i'm going with the pinkish color uh, tone flowers and you have lots of different uh, flowers in the in the collection some of them are blue some of them are pink some of them are white color tone so whatever you will need whether it's a baby card or um, other occasion cards you will have lots of different flowers to, to choose from uh, I am uh, making sure I am adhering the flowers where do I want them and as a final touch because I don't want to add any extra bulkiness uh, I've decided to go with my favorite string uh, to put it inside the uh, on the side of the flower composition and that will be the final touch uh, which will add some extra interest but still keep my card flat so it will go nicely through the post so i hope you enjoy uh, this card inspiration as well and this also presents you the collection from a uh, different side so it's not as elegant but it's more like a vintagey it's still nice i'm still using the same uh, flowers and the same dice but uh, putting it on the craft color paper it's change the game totally so uh, this is something i like to do to experiment with different color papers the bases to give me a different result so i hope you enjoy it and i'll see you on another one so that is another stunning card martyrs walked us through and do you know what her style i said it earlier but her style is really really showing through in this whole collection but i love that in those examples she showed us earlier, you really can put your own style in it. So if you love colorful and you love modern and contemporary, you can bring that in as well. But I did say to you earlier that we are going to have a chance for one of you to win this whole collection. So I think we need to go back to Marta now. Um, Marta, we're going to put a question to the viewers um, so that they can be commenting during this third video of yours. Thank you for putting three videos together, by the way. They're fabulous so far. Um, so we're going to be putting a question to the viewers. If they can answer that in the comments for the duration of the next um, video. And then what we'll do is, where are we now? So we're Wednesday now. Um, on Friday, we'll announce a winner for that. So what would your question be for them? So as my collection is bringing all sorts of the um, crafty supplies, you've got some paper, you've got some dice and stamps, I would like to know what is your favorite uh, thing to use when you're crafting, whether you're more concentrate on the papers or you're doing more stamping or die cutting or even embossing. Let me know what is your favorite thing to do what, once you're crafting. I, I really would like to, to hear you, uh, what, what do you think about that. Perfect, thank you. So simply by answering that question in the comments, wherever you are watching facebook or youtube um you will then be in a chance of winning we'll pick a winner uh we'll give it a couple of days and we'll pick a winner on friday so we will contact you if you've won as well so get commenting whilst you watch this third and final video from marta using the beautiful craft stash and co on the border collection my friends, it's time for my third and final presentation for tonight. Unfortunately, one hour is just not enough to show you all the beautiful ideas uh, I have in mind to play with this collection. But because on the previous two videos I was focusing mainly on the uh, papers and dies, uh, this time round I want to focus on the stamp set. Of course, you can mix and match them in between, but I want to show you that you will be able to create a beautiful 
whole cards even if you're not gonna have any uh, dice or papers you can still play with the with the stamps on its own and actually one thing i want to add is that this flower uh, stamp set it has some outline dice there is a uh, uh, six elements uh, in this uh, floral stamp each one of them they have their own outline die plus you have this additional a6 size background uh, stamp set which is matching with the style of the dice it has the same uh, lacy design on on it so uh, you can you will be able to create a uh, lots of the beautiful cards with different techniques and here i've just grabbed a piece of the a5 size white card and i've stamped two of the smaller flowers with the uh, archival link because i want to color them uh, so uh, you can do whatever coloring technique you prefer whether it's the alcohol marker some coloring pencils uh, aqua uh, markers whatever it is and uh, one more thing i wish to add that uh, the way i was drawing these flowers and the way i've designed them i wanted to create something which will be very easy for coloring so even if you are a beginner uh, there is lots of decreasing lines on those those petals so they will help you out uh, to kind of guide you where you're supposed to add some uh, some additional shading so if you're gonna be doing this like a uh, alcohol marker techniques or something you can very very easily uh, turn those flowers into dimensional one because the creasing line will kind of guide you where to add those uh, additional like a uh, darker shades to to your petals and now uh, I what I did, I just did very messy coloring because I am aiming for this free watercolor messy look on this card. And once I had all my flowers uh, stamped and color, uh, I've decided to uh, create myself a little stencil. I wanted to color the background, but for that, I want to mask the flowers first. And you can do it in two different ways. You can either use the sticky tape or some masking tape, as I showed you uh, a second ago, and you can cut those uh, flowers flowers using the outline dies and then use them as a mask or you can do what I'm doing here uh, I grab two of those outline dies which are matching with the flowers and I've created myself a little stencils and now what I'm doing is I've just grabbed a piece of the kitchen sponge which I add a drop of the embossing ink to my uh, sponge and I'm using the stencil to cover the flower area with the embossing ink and once I have my flowers covered then I am going over with the clear embossing powder and this will help me to seal these flowers on the paper so once I will be working on the background uh, the flowers not gonna get discolored one more thing you can do if you don't have the um, emboss uh, the clear embossing ink or you don't have die cutting machine and you would like to still play and do the similar technique you can use the glossy accent once you stamp and color your flowers you can then cover them with the glossy accent just leave them a proper time to dry and you'll be able to proceed with coloring the background and this way your flowers will be protected here i am using one of those blendable brushes which are from the creative craft product and uh, some blue color uh, tumble glass uh, distress oxide ink and i am doing it very freely i'm going for this splotchy look and uh, once i add this blue color tone uh, to my paper i sprinkle it with some additional water just to give it a little this water droplet look and then I've decided to do one extra step. I am grabbing this big background stamp and I'm doing very messy stamping. This is something I love to do whenever I'm creating those mixed media projects or art journal pages. I always like to do this partial stamping here and there, just something to add this extra additional texture. And because this stamp is quite large, it's very easy to work with it and once i had it all uh, created the background the way i wanted then i gently went over with the piece of the kitchen towel and i just clean up the stamping from this uh, uh, flower area which were covering the clear embossing powder, uh, powder so they wiped up straight away 
Now I grab the piece of the A4 size card and I score it in the center so I could create myself a card base. And because my paper got a little bit warped, uh, I should probably uh, grab the mixed media paper or the watercolor paper because I add quite a lot of the moisture and because it was just a regular cards, uh, piece of the white, uh, white paper, it got a little bit warped, but there is always something you can do to help out your project even if it's not gonna be turned 100 percent the way you want if you've got some wrinkles you can either place your paper under the heavy book and just leave it over a night or if you're impatient like me you can use a piece of another card which is much sturdier i'm using here 300 gsm a uh, gold mirror card stock so it's a very very like um, a stiff uh, card and then once i've glued my panel onto this uh, heavy um, card stock it's just flattened up plus additionally adding the extra gold paper it gave me this beautiful uh, shiny edge all around which also adds extra interest to finish off my card i am creating couple of the additional elements using the same stamp set i've uh, stamped couple of the leaves and a and flowers and now i am coloring them using exactly the same technique unfortunately at first i grabbed dirty brush which had some a little bit blue tones to it but it would not matter because uh, it, this blue color shade only add a little bit extra to my leaf now i am positioning the dice and i am just using a piece of the washi tape to uh, keep them in place and then i've cut all my elements out and now uh, it's time to work a little bit on the sentiment and I've decided to um, create something uh, nice out of these uh, word dice which I have in this second set. So I've decided to go with the sentiment which says thankful for you because I am super thankful and I think uh, this sentiment it will be just the cherry on the top for this card because I really really want to say thank you to everyone for being here for watching for supporting and encouraging me and of course i want to say big big thank you uh, to the craft stash i am super thankful for this opportunity for having my own collection coming and to make this big dream uh, coming out so i thought this sentiment will be just matching here perfectly and once i uh, emboss the sentiment using the gold embossing powder I create a little extra mat around using the same mirror gold uh, cardstock and now I will be just adhering all the layers together. And because this card is fairly simple, there is not a lot of a layer, I didn't use any die cut shapes or anything like that, I wanted to add extra interest by adding some additional dimension. So I left my front panel with the help of the double sided foam tape just to have this extra dimension and something more on the card and then i am adding a double layer of the foam uh, to this uh, middle bar with the sentiment but because i know i will be tackling my flowers behind i only add the strip to the central portion of the sentiment leaving those both edges um, unglued so i could easily put my flowers behind so they will be looking like they uh, they just coming up from behind the sentiment so i hope you enjoyed this inspiration this is something a little bit different and depending what color what um, technique you're going to be using you'll be able to uh, create lots of different looks for this collection so i hope you enjoy it and this also bring you some extra ideas for you what you can do with this uh the stamps thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on the other side so there's a beautiful third and final card from Marta, concentrating on the stamping. She's actually got the card with her. So let's pop over to Marta and have a look at that card in in real life as such, I suppose you'd say. It's beautiful. Uh, yeah, so this is the card I, I've created and uh, it's only made with, with the stamps because I wanted to show something different you can, you can do. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this idea and uh, all the other one they already sparked some absolutely uh, some, some joy and some creativity in you so I hope you will have all good fun with, with this collection 
I'm sure, uh, do you know what? I've got so many ideas just from watching those videos and seeing your examples. I want to get playing and you've given us so many style ideas as well. You've not, I think the collection as a, as a whole has really emphasized your own personal style, but left it open for everyone else to use their own as well, which is just fantastic with a, with a collection. It really is. Um, three beautiful demos, lots and lots of beautiful cards. I know we're going to be able to see the photos of the cards over on Craft Stash on the product pages. We're giving away that full collection. That's both paper packs, both die sets, both stamp sets as well. That is right, isn't it? Six pieces. I think that sounds right. <laughs> We're giving all of that away to one lucky winner simply by answering your question. Can you just remind us of that question quickly? Uh, the question was, uh, what is your preferred supplies uh, used in, in card making? Whether you craft, what, are you, what you use, are you using dice, papers or stamps, which is the most uh, um, used thing for you in, in your everyday crafting? Lovely. Perfect. Thank you so much. And thank you for joining me today. Um, I know that uh, you've probably got lots of other things going on in the background, but hopefully we'll see you again very, very soon. Uh, I know that you're going to be doing videos and such with this on your own channel. So can you remind us, it's Mark, Marta de Beechka on YouTube? On YouTube, yes. And uh, I'll be posting some videos with this collection and uh, with my dice. And tomorrow, if anyone will be interested, we're going to be doing this uh, little album. I will walk you through uh, how you can create that one. So that'll be on my YouTube channel. And uh, if you're interested to see more inspiration, you can always visit me on the craft world as well. I do have the expert page over there, which you can pop in, and then you will find also all links and the videos and some photos, uh, close-up look on the on the cards I've created. Perfect. So thank thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you so very much. And uh, once again, a big, big thank you to everyone who's been supporting me all this time and, and make it happen for me. And especially big thank you to the Craft Stash for letting me have my own collection because that was a big, big dream mm -hmm. of mine. So I'm super happy and thankful I could I could have it. And we are thrilled that you've done it and done it so well as well. So um, thank you for joining me. We will see you again soon, Marta. So take care. Yeah, you too. It was lovely. And thank you so very much, everyone. Bye-bye. See you soon. Bye-bye.